All right, welcome everybody back. Let me make sure my hair is done correctly. To another Raid Shadow Legend stream. New Mythical Gear coming, guys. Yeah, that's right. New Mythical Gear. It's going to be pretty fucking awesome. So there's going to be two types of sets. Um, stone Skin and... I forgot what the other one is. So we have Stone Skin... And protection. So protection and stone stone skin guys coming to Rage of Legends. Alright. So we're I'm gonna watch a portion of what they had to say about this, and then we're gonna go over uh a little bit more, but we're gonna go over it in the video and I'll watch it with you guys. Um what they had to say. So we're gonna go over Okay, so um let's put the one of the questions you're probably gonna ask the most is when Okay, you're gonna be like, when it's the mythical gear? Well, some people think in two weeks or on Wednesday, Wednesday or two weeks, but they haven't really gave us out the date yet. But it's definitely gonna be before the end of the year. So very, very, very soon. And it's gonna come out with the four four point ninety update. I have to have some my eyes. And then we're gonna go over how you can get this new gear. And what is the skills and all the stuff in it? Um, so let's go over the video real quick. Are more than worth it. To recap, you fight the Hydra just like you fight the clan boss. Higher scores, better rewards. Rewards will be earned in the form of Hydra chests given out. Right, so right there, guys. So the new Hydra clan boss, when it comes out, first it's got to come out to the game. Um, every time there's a chest available, that's when you get the, uh, you can drop the gear, mythical gear. And it's going to be pretty cool. There's also another part, there's mythical skills now in the mythical gear that you could roll. So just keep that in mind. I mean, this is a video you got to watch all the way through. It's going to be super awesome. We're going to be talking about all this stuff. The weekly reset. And better yet, if your clan manages to fully deplete the Hydra's HP. See right there? So right there we have... Um, you can get... Mythical gear from the highest clan boss chest of the Hydra. And it looks like five stars all the way up to six. There is... Uh, mythical and legendary. It looks like there's legendary in there as well. You get double the rewards. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what those rewards double are. Rewards. Aside from the obvious things like clan gold, clan XP, there are some serious rewards on offer. First, you'll be able to win from. Oh, glad you asked. You'll also be able to win a whole new type of artifact from Hydra Chests. We're not talking Ooh, no just a artifacts. new buff or boosted stats, but an entirely new breed of artifacts that give you set bonuses depending on how many you have equipped. These special variable artifacts will give you an extra bonus with only one of their kind equipped. Then another bonus if you equip two. Extra bonuses, guys. So, extra bonuses, and they just said right there you get two. So when you get two together, that's when they start out the bonuses. So you can get two bonuses, but it's not just two bonuses. You can get uh, you get three will give you another bonus, four will give you another bonus, five and six will give you another bonus. Um, so t you have to have at least two to get the bonus, but you can go all the way up to six. So the more you have equipped, the more bonus you get. Three, four, or even a full six of them. These are unlike any other artifact sets in Raid and will open up huge possibilities in terms of artifact combos and builds. Right off the bat, we'll have two of these special variable artifact sets. Set one, Stone Skin. Equipping a single artifact from this set will give your champion a modest but useful 8% HP boost. Equip two, and you also get an extra 40 resistance on top. But equip four, and okay, you'll so get access to an entirely new defensive... It says, oh no, wait, so I'm wrong. It says you need just one piece in order to get a bonus. So that's going to be like any other gear because no gear right now does one piece bonus. Off called Stone Skin, which you'll get for one turn at the start of the round. Stone Skin will mean your champion takes almost no damage from enemy attacks and makes your champion immune to all debuffs except for bombs. In fact, bombs will actually do more damage as they can shatter your champion. But it's still a great... So let's go over that again. 
stone skinned will uh, protect you from everything but uh, bombs. So the bombs are the only thing that you can't get from, and you can get up to two stone skins, pure pure champion in artifacts. Great offer all the benefits of stone skin. That's if you equip four, but equip six and you get two turns of stone skin plus a boatload more stat boosts. Ooh. The next set's called a protection set and it works the protection same way. Set. Equip one, two, or three artifacts and get extra stats. But at four, the set has a chance to protect any buff the wearer casts or receives. Protected buffs can't be removed or stolen, so this set is sure to be invaluable to any champion whose buffs are the bedrock of your team. Just like the stone skin set, this becomes even more powerful at six pieces. The protection chance increases, plus you have the benefits of all the other that stat boosts massive. along the way. If the special mechanics alone weren't enough for you to want those sets, how about raw power and strength alone? Stone skin and protection artifacts will be available in an entirely new rarity, mythical. Mythical. Mythical artifacts are a step up from legendary artifacts in strength, Ooh. and you won't be able to find these anywhere else. Mythical artifacts start with right all there. four substats on. If you go back just a little bit. New rarity, mythical. Mythical artifacts are a step up from legendary artifacts in strength, and you won't be able to find these anywhere else. Right there, you can get. Of this gear, you can actually get all different types of rarity for the gear. You can get rare, legendary, and mythical, but it's going to be the first. It's the only two that have mythical available right now. Or, I mean. Not right now. In, in the update. I don't know why I said right now. So it looks like um, it doesn't say anything about green. I mean, the green ones, the uncommons. Um, but we do have all the other ones that looks like it's available. And it's a pretty cool design, too. Mythical artifacts start with all four substats unlocked. But one of the substats will be increased to the equivalent yeah, of a so level four. Mythical have... Okay, let's go over this real quick again. Mythical have all four substats unlocked. Um, but there is a mythical uh, gear right here. You see the one in red? So the one in red right over here. So there's one in red and that one... I'm trying to fix the lighting. Lighting's off. That lighting's a little bit better. Okay, so the, uh, not really though, huh? I mean, like that a little bit, a little bit better, the lighting. Okay, but let's, let's get on to the video. Um, so all four will be unlocked, but one is in red, it's a mythical, uh, basically a mythical, uh, skill, as they, as you could call it, I guess, a mythical skill. Legendary artifact, meaning you'll be able to eke out a little bit more power from mythical artifacts than legendary ones. So, so basically, the mythical, uh, what they're trying to say right here is the mythical uh, skill has more stats in it than uh, the regular one does. So, and it and it depends on what gear drops. Each gear will have it looks like different mythical skills. So that's going to be humongous because let's say I want speed, right? I'm going to have to farm this clan boss multiple times to get speed uh, uh, stats on the mythical part. So I can get speed and you're like, oh, now I can get that speed. You get speed then you're going to be like, oh, man, I didn't get mythical speed. So just keep in mind that only do you want to get mythical gear to drop, but now you want mythical uh, skill stats to drop as well, which will be the biggest advantage you'll have in this game, and, and gear wise. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's another way, <laughs> but I think that that's going to be humongous advantage in every part of the game. It's a small edge, but at the highest level, those small margins make a big difference. Small, small As you edge, can probably big tell, difference. these artifacts will be incredibly <laughs> versatile and useful pretty much anywhere, no matter whether you're focusing on PvP or PvE. The Hydra is a huge update, and we'll be gradually adding more cards are more than worth it. To recap, 
You fight the Hydra just like you fight the clan boss. Higher scores, better rewards. Rewards oh, will be I earned go? in the oh, form of Hydra chests given out Oops. out at the weekly reset. Okay, so let's go back a little bit here. So here is some of the... Let me move this over a little bit. Okay, so here is a champion, Turv, Turvald, at level 50 actually has one equipped right now and you can actually see the stats over there in the left hand corner you know you got speed you actually have the mythical speed and it rolled one so um i'm looking at like you're gonna have to do a lot of work to get this gear perfect so what i'm thinking here is you want the mythical six star to drop right but whatever you're using that champion for you want the certain mythical gear to drop so for instance some of them are let's say i want speed so i want mythical speed to drop and if it rolls up mythical speed that's going to be a super super big stat on my champion so as you can see it also has the new bonus for every equipment artifact which actually didn't say you have to push on it so what this one looks like right now they have it so you have to actually push on the thing to see the bone stats but we're going to go over that here in a second. Okay, so here's the bonus stats on the gear, on the protection gear. Don't have the other one right now. But, so one piece is 20, uh, 20 resist. It looks like flat. Second piece will give you 15% HP. Third piece, and I think this all adds up. A uh, third piece is plus 12% speed, and if you get a fourth piece, bonus, by the way, this is all bonus, gives you a 50% chance to place a, a protective debuff. So four, you get that protective debuff, okay? It's going to be huge. Now, it looks like, though, you can only get one protective, or uh, you get one protective debuff, and it's on the chance base, it looks like. Um, and then five pieces, you get 12 speed. So resistance... You get resistance, speed, let's so get resistance, speed, and protect above. Three, that's three here. Bonuses on top of the mythical and and all the other stuff. Um so six speeds fifty percent to place a pl place a protective buff. So the four piece and the six piece is the same. Yep. So that right there, that's going to be huge. This is um, a turn vault. He's got all six over there. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Look at that gear on a legendary. That is fucking nice looking, isn't it? It's almost better than gold for a second. It's almost better. All right. So remember, you're going to get it for the Grandmaster chest from the new clan boss. So it looks like here... We have a purple one, gold one, and a red one can drop. Uh, so it's five stars to six stars. It looks like it can drop from the biggest chest in the new clan boss, the Hydra Heads. Uh, that's going to be humongous. You just hope that, uh, that it drops. So here's the set protect of one of them, and the guy rolled on defense. He's got defense on the mythical. You got crit rate attack accuracy. You got and rolled on everything but the defense mythical. And he's got speed boots, so that's perfect. That's a, that's a perfect suffer so for me. I, most of my champions right now don't want defense. So here, what it looks like the chest opening. So you're gonna be opening your chest, right? So you can get two chests of the Grandmaster. You know, and this, this video is not about uh, getting any of the Clan XP or the Clan Gold or the fragments for the champion. It's about the other stuff. So here he rolled. He got a, he got a Gauntlet Hand. He got, uh, it looks like all boots. All boots and Gauntlet Hand. So if this, if this would happen all the time this many you're going to get a speed one that's one of the problems is dropping speed gear you know so 
that's going to be huge. If you can get this many, the odds of that. With my luck, though, probably I'll get like zero. <laughs> I get like zero speed gear out of this, but the odds are you got to get at least one. It's got to be like one. Come on now. It can't be this will have to be zero speed. It's got to be like one out of all those on that hydro test. So it's not just going to be like one or two pieces. It's going to be a lot. If this is accuracy, accuracy, if this is actually how it's going to happen. This Maybe this is a tease. Maybe it's not going to happen this way, but hopefully it does. Hopefully it does drop this much gear for two chests. One chest would be four gear pieces and half of this other stuff, right? Or right now, is that just one opening? That might just be one opening. Let's see. Let's hopefully wait and see. All right, so here's this. Here's one of the stone pieces. All right, move myself over a little bit again. Here's one of the stone pieces, guys. It's a weapon, uh, HP, and roll twice on HP. Roll once on, on HP. It's resistance. It also rolled on. Uh, as a rolled on the speed mythical. That's gonna be huge right there. Um, the HP and resistance would be huge for a defensive champion. So I had, I do have a few uh, defensive champions that this could really benefit from. Hold on. Is that everything? I think we went through almost everything, guys. Um, yep. Yep, so we went over all the... The gear and stuff, and this is the full piece set of one of them. So there's going to be two stone and protection. Stone and protection are going to be really big. So I hope everybody got that, and hopefully it, it, it made sense to you, and uh, you understood it as much as possible. Um, I'm Lord of the Fly, and I will see you later.